Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, transfer of information for our CX 10.10 .10 about uh, VSX Keep Alive enhancement, which is about out of band management board support for Keep Alive and IPv6 as well. I'm Vincent Giles, part of the technical marketing engineering team, and um, this the is agenda uh, that is proposed, so as a usual agenda for TOI, an overview, uh, use cases for the Keep Alive, some details, configuration, best practices. A bit of troubleshooting uh, sh uh, demonstration on both uh, out of band management port and IPv6 and some additional resources. So, this is the, uh, the overview. So, we have really two new features, which is the support for Keep Alive over out of band management port, as well as the support for IPv6 for Keep Alive for VSX. So, um, as of uh, 10.01, introduction of VS6 up to 10.09, uh, the VS6 Keep Alive was supported on a dedicated uh, link between the primary and the secondary VS6 nodes or over a routed IPv4 path. Uh, so that would be typically so on the on the, on the right side, that would be a, a transit VLAN that would be used over the ISL. And uh, in case of the ISL failure, that would be as a backup, an upstream layer three path, alternate path if ISL fail, so that this path is um, made available for UDP probe exchange between the primary and the secondary um, in the time uh, that is less than the uh, VS6 kill per life dead timer, of course. So that would be really the two solutions that we had before. Uh, starting 10.10 .10 now, uh, we have on top of the, uh, in addition to the two uh, uh, methods that I uh, exposed, there is a third one which has been waited for a long time, which is the support for uh, Keep Alive over the out of band management port. So now the UDP probe that is sent between VSX primary and VSX secondary to check the health are uh, of the, the keep alive between uh, the, those two nodes in the cluster, you can have that traffic over the out of band management port. So if you have um, an out of band management network connecting all the, um, the management port of the switches, that would be a, a really a preferred best practice to perform. So typically in data center, we see that uh, very possible. Uh, so in terms of overview, uh, and especially in the CLI and uh, show VSX, so before 1010, .10, we had the ability to actually configure the Keep Alive um, uh, with uh, the VRF being the management VRF. However, that would not uh, lead to any establishment of the Keep Alive uh, for VS6, you would uh, even if the command was accepted, you would have a keep alive init mode every time, always. So that means that the keep alive is not established. Now, same uh, CLI, but with that new supported option, which is the management VRF, you will have a keep alive being uh, with the keep alive established as a, as a session. So again, using the out of mode management port. Um, for IPv6 support, this is uh, about the, 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 the same than IPv4. So before only IPv4 was supported. Here, this is IPv6. So uh, it can be either IPv4 or IPv6. It cannot be dual stack. It has to be uh, selected before. And that IPv6 address will be is supported on either a dedicated port or the routed path that I was talking about before, or uh, finally the out of band management port as well as coming with the previous feature I exposed. So let's dive into a little bit of use case. So first of all, uh, number one is data center. It was um, really not optimum to reserve a dedicated, let's say 100 gig port or 25 or 40 gig port for a uh, specific Keep Alive uh, direct link between the primary and the secondary. So in the absence of that uh, dedicated port, that would be a waste of uh, speed uh, being, uh, so that port being burned for 
just a few tiny packets exchanged between primary and secondary. The UDP uh, probe could have been routed through an alternate path. So we talk about the transit VLAN over ISL and the backup routed path. However, this, um, this solution is uh, additional configuration and would take some precautions about the fact that uh, you need to have the alternate path uh, for keep alive probe to be set up before the dead timer. So you need to have a, a check at least, which is not at all a problem, but that's an extra configuration and check to check that this, um, this alternate path is established uh, in a short time for the keep alive to be exchanged even if the EISL is uh, shut down. So for that, really the, the immediate uh, suitable um, uh, way and method is to exchange keep alive over the out of band management port that are typically connected to an out of band management network uh, in the data center to transport the keep alive traffic. So that's the use case one. So the use case two would be for Campus. Um, so first of all, all the ports on the, let's typically talk about an aggregation layer here. Maybe all the ports are already uh, taken and unused. Maybe some ports are free, but maybe they are high speed. And uh, similarly to the data center, you don't, do not want to burn an extra uh, port for, for that. So uh, similarly than before, the UDP uh, path, the UDP probe over the alternate routed path might be feasible as well, but extra configuration. And as well, maybe upstream is a firewall, so you might need to uh, uh, allow that UDP probe in terms of rules and access list. So uh, that's typically not uh, easy in terms of configuration. So, uh, in that case, uh, so something that is suitable is to directly connect those, those out of band management ports. So the, in the campus, is maybe unlikely that you have an out of band um, management network. Uh, so the out of band management ports are not connected to anything. So in that case, uh, using a direct connectivity between those two would de facto allow uh, uh, that communication for uh, VA6 Keep Alive. Please note that obviously would be limited to copper distance, so that would be below 100 meter to uh, below 100 meters to achieve that. So for uh, IPv6 uh, use case, uh, so this is IPv6 ready deployment that some customer would like to migrate to with no uh, IPv4. Um, interfaces uh, anywhere. So that is a, a possibility in that case to have IPv6 without to rely on IPv4 uh, interconnectivity. So some details and uh, caveats. So IPv6 address, if used, cannot be link local address. So that is uh, something that needs to be uh, uh, to be reminded. So the dual stack is not supported, as I mentioned before. You can either configure IPv4 uh, Live or IPv6 Live, but not both. The out-of-band management port being copper only. So if you uh, are in the campus use case for VL6 nodes, as the out-of-band management port may not be connected um, to an out-of-band management network, you may use that direct link. In that case, a uh, distance is limited to 100 meters. So the direct link that I was uh, just talking about is valid for 8320, 8325, 8360, and 10,000. However, uh, it is possible as well for 6400 and 8400 chassis with a single management module. Obviously, uh, you will not be able to full mesh those management module between the two management module on the primary and the two management module on the secondary if uh, with a uh, direct uh, cabling capability yeah? so you cannot cross connect those nms so it's not possible uh, with dual management modules if there is no uh, out of band management networks uh, so additional uh, switch um, third, uh, switch that would interconnect all the management uh, ports 
So for dual management module chassis, uh, using management uh, ports, pay attention that the keep alive dead timer should be increased to 20 seconds. So there is a, an internal uh, a reference on that one because of the uh, management module failover and the ability for the keep alive uh, messages to use that second uh, management module as uh, generating the keep alive. So, uh, so that's uh, something to remind uh, for dual management modules. The platform uh, where we support uh, out-of-band management port for Keep Alive, all the VSX platforms, so that is 8400, 8320, 8325, 8360, 8400, 10,000. The IPv6 um, Keep Alive is the same than the previous platform plus the simulator. In terms of configuration, this is extremely easy. Huh? This is the management VRF that is to be used uh, instead of uh, no VRF if this is the default or a specific VRF if you specify, for instance, a dedicated Keep Alive VRF uh, that was uh, in the best practice uh, before. So management VF must be used. Um, so not required to have the same subnet between the source and the destination for Keep Alive, as long as they can reach them, each other. So for the campus use case, the direct link uh, between uh, the uh, out-of-band management port between the primary and secondary, in that case, you must use the same subnet huh, as there is no intermediate gateway. And the uh, Peer source, uh, peer and source addresses needs to be either both IPv4 or IPv6, but not a mixed. For V6 addresses, uh, remember that it must be a global unicast address or unique local address, but not link local address. Uh, again, uh, does not matter if they are in the same subnet or uh, as long as they can reach each other. And uh, for the, the campus use case, similarly, it must be the same subnet as there is no intermediate gateway. Some best practices. So I would say that now it should be part of default best practices to interconnect, um, uh, so to use the keep alive, to use the out of band management port for keep alive connectivity. So that would be probably something that we update the best practice with by default for data center. Uh, we'll reflect that. And uh, the, the scenarios for 6400 and 8400 with dual MM and no out of band management port network uh, will be uh, considered separately as uh, not supported. So a bit of troubleshooting. So first check that the VSX Keep Alive uh, is well configured in the running configuration. So for that uh, in the VSX, you check that the Keep Alive peer uh, uh, source uh, IP address are, are, are properly configured using the VRF management for the um, out of man management port. You can use IPv6, uh, as I uh, mentioned before, over the out of man management port as well. So please check that. You can also check the Keep Alive configuration with the Show VSX configuration Keep Alive command that will provide you as well the source uh, IP address and the destination IP address on top of uh, the, and the, the VRF that is used for that one. And you will be able to check the, the yellow interval as well that are configured. And the Show VSX brief will give you the Keep Alive state which is a uh, keep alive established in nominal situation. Show VSX status keep alive will provide you the uh, number of uh, exchange packet, transmit and receive packet. And uh, if you have a mismatch here, it means that there is uh, some drop somewhere uh, which needs to be investigated. And now let's, let's dive into a bit of a demonstration uh, with uh, uh, some um, switches that I'm going to share. So first of all, uh, let's check on out of bound management port for IPv4, what, uh, what we have here. Show IPv6. 
we have um, the VRF management being used. So on that particular 8325 uh, that is used in the data center, we have um, the, uh, the out-of-band management port that are connected to another layer 2 switch uh, to in order for all the out-of-band management port to be accessible from an external uh, system. So um, I can uh, do a quick check on the show interface management. You see that one. And uh, if I do a show VSX status, So everything is running fine and show VSX status keep alive. You get all the information. So you can see that the keep alive is established. So this is with uh, IPv4 and the out of mode management port. For uh, IPv6, let's uh, get to another platform which is an 8320. And if I do a show run VSX, you'll see that uh, I'm using as well the management out-of-band uh, port, but this time with IPv6 addresses. Similarly, I can do a show VSX brief, check that the keep alive state is established, and I can do a show VSX status keep alive, and you'll see that uh, I have a keep alive established and a quick check on the, on the packet. A small difference here which is not uh, due to some tests that I made. Right, so this is for the demonstration. Some resources. We're getting some, you'll get some uh, updates on the user guide that will come as of 1010. And this is about uh, it for VSX Keep Alive enhancement in 1010. Thank you very much.